Howdy folks, OGB here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to level your paladin really fast. If you haven't noticed by now, I am a paladin enjoyer. And I'm getting pretty good at leveling them. So this is the strategy I've figured out for 34 to 39. So first things first, let's talk about talents and gear. I'm not really going to talk about my gear too much, it's mostly just BFD stuff, some stuff from the auction house that was cheap. Uh, the important thing is the Hammer of Righteous Judgment, and you want that because it is 1.3 speed. Uh, just really helps with getting your exorcism procs because we are picking up Art of War as soon as possible to do this. You can also get a Knightly Longsword off the auction house, preferably of the Tiger or of the Monkey if you don't have the hammer. For our talents, we're taking 10 points in holy to get spiritual attunement so that we can heal ourselves whenever we need to, and we're dumping the rest of our points into ret and maxing out our crit talent. You should already have Seal of Martyrdom and the Exorcist Room, so you need to pick up Art of War as soon as possible. And as an optional rune, you can also get Enlightened Judgments, which isn't necessary, but I found it very helpful. Once you have your runes, get fully racked with world buffs, head up to Scarlet Monastery Graveyard, and start killing things. At level 34, you'll need to just kill the first two mobs in this hallway, and then actually use a Lesser Invisibility Potion to skip the next room and go straight to the Undead portion. After hitting level 36 and getting the next rank of exorcism, you can just clear the room instead. Once we make it to the graveyard, this is where things really start to pop off. Because exorcism has 100% crit on undead, and we have our super fast hammer spamming attacks with seal of martyrdom to get lots of exorcisms, we're like a little wood chipper in here, so we're just going to pull one thing at a time, kill it super fast, and keep on moving. There's also usually at least one chest in here, uh, some grave moss, and some king's blood. So that's a nice little bonus. On top of the fact that once you get through this whole place and kill the boss at the end, there are usually respawns, so you don't have to actually go outside and reset the instance. You can just keep killing the mobs that are respawning in there, and sometimes that includes the rare spawns. Okay, here we are coming back up out of the tomb after killing the boss, and boom, we've leveled up. And as you can see, there's a bunch more mobs out here to kill now. Alright, let's go over the stats. This is what my tracker reported after clearing out all the respawns and grabbing the herbs. And um, roughly it comes out to about 90,000 experience per hour, which is really, really good considering that most of the levels up to 38 take less than 90,000 experience. Plus, I'm sure someone else could push that number higher than I can. I'm kind of going slow and grabbing the herbs and just messing around and enjoying myself while I'm in here. As far as I know, this is the fastest way to solo level for a paladin. I'm estimating you could get 34 to 39 in probably 5 hours or less if you just buried your head in Scarlet Monastery. And yes, by the way, I did test this without using the world buffs. It is still totally doable, but obviously a little bit less experience per hour. So I would recommend just grabbing the buffs before you head up to do the runs. Sadly, the graveyard can't take us all the way up to 40, but at 39, there's plenty of other chores to go do between the previous quests, getting your sheath of light rune, and all the other stuff that uh, you need to do to get ready for raid. If you've got a better leveling grind, let me know in the comments. Look forward to hearing it. OTB out.